Okay, I'm going to put this uh, part of the video at the very beginning. Uh, we had a problem with this uh, one quick set lock. It was hung up uh, further in the video. I was going to have to repair it. What was happening is that uh, it has some little holes right along this spot. I have epoxied it up. I've got to file and sand the epoxy off. But there was a, um, on number five pin, there was a pin and pin. And this is what uh, done the damage. This pin fell down into the hole and locked it up. It was in this spot. So we'll put this uh, lock back together and we'll pick it uh, when we get this uh, all epoxied up and ready and working. So remember, if you put a small pin in, always epoxy these holes up on the side. That'll uh, stop a lot of headaches. Uh, I never send one out with uh, small pins in it unless I epoxy those holes up. Okay, thank you very much. Now we'll proceed with the package. Okay, I received a package of locks today from Trek Master 30. He sent a uh, rush one. He stated this has uh, ball bearings in it. It does not have a key. He also sent uh, two of these best lock cores and a lock cylinder. No key for these. He sent an Ilco with a quick set key wave. It does work. Sent a, a challenge. Well, this all these four are challenge locks. Uh, sent this A1100 um, six pin, I believe. Okay, I don't know what's a six pin or a five pin. But it's probably a, at least a six pin core with five pins in it, unless someone ch changed it. And they may have, since this is probably a challenge lock. Okay, Ilco with quick set key way, I believe we stated that one. We also have a, uh, another quick set uh, that works, uh, works fairly well, but due to the pins, you feel a little hang in it. And we also have this uh, quick set uh, keyway. Put the key in to turn it and pin drop down from the Bible into the plug on the side. I'm sure this has some holes in it that should have been sealed up, but uh, I'm going to have to uh, pop this top off and remove the pins, pull this plug, seal the uh, holes up in it before I pick it. And hope I get the pins back in the right order. So let's just go ahead and open this uh, regular quick set challenge lock five pin. Let's see what it uh, has in it today. Okay, let's use the uh, bottom of the keyway. Let's go to the back of the lock. There's a pin 5, pin 4, pin 3, pin 2. Get a little feedback on pin 1, I believe. There's pin 1. Let's go to the back again. A little bit more on pin 5. Pin one again and it's open. Okay, let's see what kind of pins Trek Master 30's put in this uh, quick set.
Okay, let's get this uh, clip off. Okay, there it is. Okay, we locked it back up, but we have a key. camera down sorry about that okay we got five pins all five pins are working it okay, looks like they are all standard pins see quickset has a bad habit of uh, drilling holes here so if you put the wrong kind of pins in the Bible if you turn this this way, a pin will drop down in this hole, and it'll lock it up. So, I always try to take these quick sets and seal these up with epoxy before I send them out. Okay, let's see what's in the uh, top now. like a standard pin standard okay maybe this is just a standard lock I thought this was a um, okay this one is just all standard nothing extra special about it Nothing has been changed about the plug or the um, Bible. Tell you what, let's move this uh, up this way. Let's take this uh, quick set, or I mean a Ilco with a quick set keyway. Okay, it does work. This is the bidding on it. This one should have some uh, pins in it, I hope. Okay, we may have to wait until we can get that other quick set working to pick it. Okay, let's use the top of the keyway. And let's use this pick. Let's go to the uh, back of the lock. Work our way to the front. A little bit on pin two. Let's go to the back. Okay, let's relax the tension at pin one. Okay, pin three is open. Okay, let's see what kind of pins are in this uh, Yoko with a uh, quick set keyway. See if we can uh, get this clip off. Okay, we've got a key, so let's lock it back up till we get the clip off. Well, this one wants to be real contrary.
let's see if we can uh, get it off like this. There he is. Okay. Okay, wrong. There we go. Okay. All pins are in and working. We'll take a closer look at these pins in a moment, provided they're not standard. Let's look at the... Uh... Okay, the plug has threading in all five chambers. So they're not standard uh, pins. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, top pins now. Looks like a serrated pin. And that one is a mushroom spool looks like. And that one and it looks like some sort of T-pin. Let's get the springs out of this one and uh, see if we can take a look at the uh, Bible. Okay, the Bible looks all standard. The top hasn't been removed. Alright, let's see if we can look at these pins a little bit closer. Okay, there is a steel key pin, serrated key pin, a serrated pin, a mushroom type uh, spool. This is another uh, serrated key pin, serrated key pin. This is another mushroom type spool, and this is one of those uh, drunken spools, as Bosnia Bill calls it. Okay, that's what we have in these two quick sets today. Please stay out of trouble. Please do not do anything illegal. And thank you for watching.